Hello and welcome to the latest version of the script organizer 3.4.1 and in this one we are introducing the variable picker. So let me show you this. If you inspect the team and if you just uh, see how many variables the team have. So let's just press this one and honestly who is going to remember all of these names. So let me show, share you the setup. What I created here is only one code block. If you go inside, you will see that uh, I didn't write any code yet. There is a condition and there is a header and the CSS. And for this to work, uh, you need to do specific steps because if you just uh, press it, uh, the script organizer does not know from where to fetch the variables. So what we need to do is press the preview and uh, select the or find the page uh, from which you want to fetch the variables. After you do this, press the control S and then reload the page. After that, you will see all the variables and the variables are not uh, closed after you press it. And let me show you why. So just uh, create some class and then if you want to have for example padding and you want to have different for the x and epsilon uh, so let's do the space and then uh, for example you want a large and then you want to have font size and then let's font size medium and then background color and you see why this is uh, so useful to have it open all the time because once you start using the variables I think you will never close this one again what you will do you will just search so you don't need to scroll up and down but uh, I hope you see how useful this feature is and how you're going to introduce it into your future workflow also keep in mind even if I have this as a CSS is going to work the same for the S CSS as well. Hope you guys uh, like what you see. Uh, give us comments inside the YouTube channel or come to our Facebook group and comment what more you would like to see inside the script organizer. Thank you for watching and bye.